So, what is architecture? Uh, we, we tend to say that architecture is itself uh, in the most simple ways, which uh, to a certain extent uh, suggests, I guess, to us that we need to simply figure out how architecture and its culture finds a place in the world. For me, that's fine. <laughs> that's an answer, no. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I think architecture is a project, and for that, it needs to be made. It's not just uh, something which is thinking only, but it's a set of all these things together. And a project can be lots of things, but um, to, m to make something happen like that is, 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 is important. Yeah, I, I guess when David says architecture is a project, what, what's important in there is that the project, to a certain extent, will never be perfectly describable. Uh, it's not a translation of a simple idea, uh, but it's as itself, so architecture as itself, able to, I would say, represent a certain complexity which you can simply not present uh, in all the descriptions of that, that, mm. that very object, uh, whether it is a paper uh, or a built work. So uh, what can architecture do? Mm. Well, again, and you know, we are using a couple of elements of uh, thoughts we've written down in other places, Architecture in many ways uh, stands in the way. It's something like uh, an obstruction. Uh, it's um, like a barrier. And perhaps there are people who consider this a problem, but we believe that exactly this very specific, very direct quality is its main asset. So it's able to divide and to organize. And it is trying to to deal with these particularities which drives us in, in making our work. Yeah, uh, like what's fascinating is that if you as an architect are confronted, let's say, or as a in our case, team uh, or duo architect are confronted with um, all these, let's say, problems, so-called problems of of the world or things to solve. but. The thing is, you cannot really solve anything. In a way, what is kind of nice about being an architect is that this kind of complexity of sociologic things, cultural, economic even, and so on, uh, all these questions that are around us, as an architect, you can almost just uh, make abstraction of that and make your own work, and suddenly all these things are also in there, somehow. and, and um, but I don't know if that's an answer to the question because I already forgot the question. What what does it do? Mm -hmm. That's what it. Uh, it yeah. So, but then finally, it just is there, and that's maybe its main importance. Okay. The third question: How do you position yourself within the discourse? I, I think, to a certain extent, as an architect, you are part of the cultural discourse of architecture, as it is to be accumulated through all the materials which have made before, have been made before. So you are part of the discourse in as far as you understand what happened before, and you to a certain extent know that you live today in the present. So it's not about nostalgia, it's also not about invention, it's about trying to negotiate in the most precise way your own intentions with all the vocabulary which has been made available to you. Well, I think uh, the, 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 our, our position is, is something that you are all the time also describing yourself. It's not something you decide for in the beginning, this is our position, and then you make a live work of trying to prove that position. I think uh, 
while making the architecture develop a position. I think at the same time the, the, the items come come back, but that's merely because there are very personal uh, obsessions or fascinations of both of us that we all the time test with each other and with our office. And uh, so there is no preconceived, uh, let's say, um, perfect idea that you can only test afterwards. So it's more like a summary of what you have learned, you have experienced, where you traveled to? Well, yes and no. I mean, I think it's, I mean, as David was just saying, um, you know, if you talk about what is your discourse, your discourse is extremely precise. It's not just a summary. Um, your discourse is also informed by what you have just done before. So, to a certain extent, uh, I think we, we both believe that the projects we make seem to be part of a certain family. Now, after the fact, it's quite easy to a certain extent to understand that a new project seems to belong there. But before it came to form, we did not yet you know, predefine how we would get there. So it's that oscillation, and maybe it's true that working together, the two of us, it allows us to have that oscillation. So it allows us to, to kind of to deal with all the other elements of the world, uh, of the cultural world of architecture as well, um, and to bring them to another form, not simply as a memory to what was there before, not simply as uh, a big bag with things we have seen, no, ultimately as another architecture as itself. Uh, so the fourth question, what is your design method? I think we just answered that before. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, <coughs> in, in many ways our design method is, as we just said, we, we sit together with uh, certain ideas, some of them preconceived, others maybe fresh. Um, uh, things we've just seen, uh, art uh, we've seen or visited, um, all different things, uh, fascinations, as David said. At the same time, uh, somehow, because uh, you know, I would say, the, the, certain, the, the performance of certain things. I mean, there's a certain spatial performance of things. We did not talk about that before, but um, so the idea that architecture in the end uh, is something, especially when it's built, you perceive, I would say, phenomenologically. So in other words, uh, in three dimensions, you walk through it. Uh, it has a certain set of spatial qualities. Uh, these very simple things, so in the three dimension of the built work, but in the two dimension of the collage, of the composed work, uh, is important to us. So from that perspective, uh, and maybe perspective here is important, from that perspective, uh, the idea that you make an architecture almost uh, from, from the painting, from the perspective, uh, more than from the sculpture, uh, if you uh, look for this uh, kind of classical dichotomy, one versus the other, uh, is certainly a fact. Mm. Yeah, indeed. Uh, I mean, again, maybe to come back to that, the idea of projects is very important because, as, as we said before, the, the, the idea of, let's say, having um, tools to speak to each other, Kessen and me, it's very important to be able, to, within a collage or perspective, to already say something, but not everything. The same counts for a plan, the same counts for, let's say, um, even a text or a model, uh, and, and then even the built work. Is, and if you see them all as separate projects, in some cases making one bigger project, then suddenly um, you see it also as a way of working. And, and that's, it's important to, to describe it as, as products almost. Projects for products, that each of them have a certain, uh, uh, how you call it, independence from what it actually all is aiming for. In some cases this is a build building, other cases it's something else. Yeah, and in, in terms of method, for that reason, I guess we very often start with a set of quite simple principles, which are either you know, communicated between us, but also with people in the office, 
to a set of simple drawings, uh, spatial sequence, things like that. Uh, quite early on, because we sketch these, for example, uh, there's a set of perspectives. There's an idea of, okay, this, this plan it has a certain translation, uh, and because you can make many different perspectives with the same plan. So, and it's, I guess, this combination of plan or section and these perspectives, which defines a kind of pre-project, which then either works because there's a model made and we think that's an interesting, you know, it, it's an interesting layer added, or not, uh, and maybe things are changing. Uh, but this idea that, that you already, from the beginning, you try to define almost a total set of elements of a certain project, which then you can change, I think it's quite important to us. Mm. Yeah, indeed, and that they're very precise also on themselves. In a way, it's almost a kind of economy of means. It doesn't help to switch off the light, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Our very good uh, employee Ronan <laughs> introduced himself. Uh, no, it's uh, the, the, you could say economy of means in just choosing a, a, a select set of of tools or uh, of, of methods to to express yourself, but also. It is in a way this exactly this constraint that helps you forward rather than uh, keeps you back.